28 blocks that are on the north side. So you got one, one, eight, six, two, eight, and then you, when you come back to here, then you've got you've come back to the 18 wall a second time, and you've gone across the six floors a second time. So if you add those two, 18 and six, you get 24. And so with those numbers, you have the current speed of light: one eight six two eight two point four. 186,000 basically miles per second. Okay, what's interesting is that it starts here, it gets shot back across here and back. It's basically saying, it's not only revealing the speed of light, it's saying on Earth there's a physical limitation. You can only measure the two-way speed of light because it starts here, you bounce it off here, and then it comes back to here. All measurements of the speed of light are based on reflecting it off something because the synchronization problem, you can't measure the one-way speed of light. We don't have clocks that can be synchronized accurately enough to, to say start at the beam here and then end it here. Well, the two clocks you use that have to be synchronized can't do it. So all measurements of speed of light start here, bounce off something, and then measure it with the same clock that you started it with. So it basically the Great Pyramid is not only giving the speed of light, but it's saying, and there's a physical limitation, you can only measure it by taking the average of the two-way speed of light. Interesting.